It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? Stay right here on EA TV for all the live action. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city center ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal against Brazil. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio is the keeper. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Fred starts with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Neymar. And so the battle commences. Otavio. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Well, he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering that they finished second in the qualifying group. They had to go through playoff matches against Turkey and North Macedonia just to get to the 2022 finals. And this past month has been challenging as well, but they're here, and they have a well-earned track record as winners. Well, you're absolutely right, but I think they've got better and better as the tournament has worn on. They've got a great understanding of what's required of each player on the pitch. They're good tactically, they've been fit, and I think they've got every chance of being the world champions here, but they're going to have to play well. Oh, surely! Couldn't make it 1-0! Maybe not quite warmed up. Well, that should have been the opener. He has to hit the target from there. Far from a good pass. Well, we're rightly focusing on Bernardo Silva, who can be a formidable presence in midfield. What kind of qualities do you think he'll bring to this game, Stuart? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls around the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Plenty of support here. Ronaldo, determined defending. Rafinha. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending.
Good work from Brazil to win the ball back. Paqueta. Neymar. Now with Vinicius Junior. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Danilo. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Well, he's allowed it to go over the touchline, so a throw in. Silva. It's a good looking ball in behind. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Danilo. Here's Rafinha. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Can they forge ahead? And quite simply, a wonderful chance was squandered. Well, not great from the keeper. Neymar. Oh, in with a chance. Oh, how on earth has he missed that? What a glorious opportunity. Well, the flag's gone up and he was offside, but he didn't know that when he took his shot. Really well played pass. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Ronaldo. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Well, those stats aren't great reading, are they? Neither side is playing with any fluency so far, and as a result, we've seen a pretty dull game. It has to get better. Brazil now in a potentially dangerous position. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Casemiro. Here's Rafinha. Danilo. Chance to cross. Vinicius putting his body on the line. Teammates available. Must be. Oh, that is a superb save. It's a short corner. Vinicius Jr. Well, it wasn't a simple save to make. Well, another corner following on from the last one. Going short. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Fired in by Neymar. Well, simple for the keeper. And Rafael Guerrero has lost the ball. It could be up for grabs. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Well, he's got past his man. And space for him to cut in. Neymar! And there it is! Living history! The opening goal of the 2022 World Cup Final. Incredible celebrations! Well, let's see this again. 
The vision to play this through ball is superb, but when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Neymar. Oh, he's really up on the map here. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. Taken short. Fred. Can he finish this? And danger still. And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. Couldn't keep it. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Can they hit on the break? And a timely intervention. Cristiano Ronaldo. Ottavio now. And a poor ball. So a half an hour remaining. Vinicius Junior. Fred with it. And return to Vinicius. Chance to finish. Well, he really wants his brace. Well, he looks so bright today. His movement has been excellent. So making the substitution now. And the short option preferred. Effective looking pass. No way through. A wilting under the pressure. And now they try to go forward. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Here it is now. A substitution. Let's see about the delivery. It comes to absolutely nothing. Breaking at pace. Will they profit from this situation? Could be! Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. Marquinhos. Well, Brazil have been in complete control over the last 15 minutes. Creating lots of chances now, and you think if they do get another, it's going to be tough for the opposition to find a way back into this. Into the final 20 minutes. And there to intervene. Neymar. A sloppy pass. Lucas Paqueta. Throw in for Brazil. Can he find the right pass? Textbook defending inside the box. Bernardo Silva. And that'll be a Portugal throw. <laughs> Ruben Neves. And it's Ruben Dias. Leal. 
And Portugal struggling to keep it. Rafinha. This might be ideal for the counter. There's so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. How can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? This could be the equaliser. But no, he's fluffed his lines. Good heavens. Well, that's the chance they've been looking for. The question is, will they get another one? Time is running out now. Well, still time for them to level it. And he takes it on. Oh, a goal to level it up in the closing stages. Who's going to claim the trophy? It's an open question here. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Rafinha. Fred with it. Went in strongly, decisively. Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time. Three minutes to be exact. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. How about the cross? Can he put them in front? No is the answer to the question. And that could be so important at this stage. Well, will they get another chance? That would surely have won the game for them. And there's the delivery. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes. But this is not over, and two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Well, back underway here, and it's quite simple. Both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes. And now having a go. Just made sure nothing came of that. Asking a lot to score from there. Goalkeeper's ball. And Ronaldo takes on the shot. Well, the keeper did his job. Didn't really have to work hard, in all honesty. And the pass was off target. It'll be a throw. Not a great pass. A lot of forward thrust here from Ronaldo. Now, what can he do from this excellent position? Well, no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Vinicius Junior. And Neymar! And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. Well, there might have been a case for a yellow card, but the referee didn't see it that way. Well, Derek, it's a foul, yes. A penalty, absolutely. But for me, it's not a yellow card. The ref has got that right. And a chance to restore their advantage. Goal! Taking aim from the spot and finding the target. Well, here it is again, and they don't come much better than this. No chance for the goalkeeper. Brilliant penalty. Well, underway again. It's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Well, 
Nicely timed tackle. Rafinha. Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. That's it. Half time in extra time. The second period still to come. And so, 15 more minutes. We're into the second period of extra time here. An incisive pass. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And Ronaldo finishes it with so much quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top-class goal. Goal. On with the game then. 3-2. What will happen next? Oh, number seven. Cristiano Ronaldo. And that'll be a Brazil ball. Casemiro. Now Eder Militao. Fred. On to Neymar. Neymar! Strong hand on that one. Rafael Leao. On the ball, Ruben Dias. Otavio. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. Will he finish? Oh, and it goes! Now they're level. Who saw this coming? Incredible! Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. Goal. Well, if you enjoy high-scoring contests, this has been the game for you. Vinicius Junior. They're on the scent of a winner late in this game. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. A danger here as he runs at them. Pumps clear. Well, a fantastic final, and it's going to end in the most nerve shredding way possible with a penalty shootout. So the penalty shootout about to commence and as a player this is when you have to hold your nerve and confidently convert it can he keep us cool
And that penalty attempt well below average. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. And the keeper denies them from the spot. And he scores. Can he remain calm? He had to score, and he does. And it wasn't the greatest penalty. And it's been saved by the keeper. Job done from the spot. And he steps up to take the shot. And he's beaten the keeper. It won't be lost on him. What's at stake here? He knows he's got to score. And it's gone in. His turn to try to convert from the spot. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. And the penalty converts it here. And he steps up to take his penalty. And there it is. Perfectly executed. Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit, too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. Portugal, the world champions. And this is finally Portugal's time. Fully deserved. Best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.